It's a new year, baby. I'm blocking when I can in January, but I guess that means it's not gooey because I'm doing the exact same thing that I've already been doing. Oh god, that can't be good. A body, a Hi everyone, it's 2022 everybody! Let's pray and hope and send out good vibes and juju that this year the pandemic will be over, quarantines will be gone, masks won't be needed. I'm over it! As someone with three unvaccinated children, I am really desperate for all this to be over because I just want to go do anything normal. So Let's hope that happens for 2022. I hope that I get to do fun work things. We'll see if my career is over this year or if it thrives. And just fun adventures with the kiddos. It's gonna be a hectic hard year. It already is a hectic hard year. My year started with Maisie crying a lot and bottle feeding babies and breastfeeding and pumping. It's kind of all I've done so far in 2022. Uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of my 2022 for the first few months, but I am going on tour. Or I'm supposed to, we'll, we'll see if like, anyone gets tickets because I haven't been on tour in years. In April, I'm going to San Francisco and Sacramento, and then I'm going to Toronto, New York, Pennsylvania, Las Vegas, Illinois, um, and Juliet and Waukegan, Winnipeg, Canada, Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver. Those are the cities I'm going to right now. If uh, you guys want to come and the show is good and you guys like it and tickets sell, then I can add more tour dates. Um, and I hope that they go well, and I hope you guys come and get tickets, get tickets now. And yeah, I really need to pump. I have a clogged milk duct thingy and it hurts so bad. So I need to go deal with that. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll see you guys a little later. Hey, it's the next day. It is January 2nd, 3rd? What day is it? Oh, it's January 2nd. So I'm filming a Miranda video. I'm very excited about this year and all the new things. I, I realized I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I'm going on tour this year. And I got excited and I was like, I wanna start doing Miranda videos again now that I'm not pregnant or newly postpartum or a baby's in the NICU. Now I can start like, I have energy to do things again. And I'm just excited and I, I miss doing Miranda. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna start doing Miranda Mondays. Every Monday I'm gonna post a Miranda video. I'm gonna try. And and I'm excited about the videos that I have planned in my brain parts. But I have this dilemma with Miranda now, and it is this. Miranda was always this really weird character. Obviously, we know this, but part of her weirdness was her, like the weird clothes that I wear and the weird hair that I did and the weird makeup and all this stuff. And now it seems like everything that I've ever done as Miranda, because I thought it was like weird, is now cool. Like the middle part and the hair clips, like this is a style people do. Overdrawn lips obviously has become a style over there. Literally Harry Styles wore a Miranda outfit on his tour. Like red pants with a striped button down shirt. I don't know what to do because I was like, okay, I want to put on a, an ugly shirt from the Miranda closet. I put this on. Do I think this is cute? No, but I don't think it's that weird. Whereas like 10 years ago, I would put some people in like, well, what is she wearing? And now I feel like I could wear this. I don't personally like this outfit or anything. I feel like I could get away with like going out like this. Not with a lipstick, but like, you know, just like a baggy button down shirt. I feel like it's not as weird as it once was and so I'm like how do I do I now go revert to like what clothes used to be cool or like trendy or cute 10 years ago because now those clothes would be ugly do you know what I'm saying like now I don't know what to wear as Miranda because all the clothes I've always worn as Miranda to make me look ridiculous now are like sort of trendy again I'm not saying this is like a look like I would not wear this out and about but like I feel like I could and no one would bat an eye they'd be like oh cool and maybe that's just a good thing like our world is progressing in a way where it's like wear whatever you want who cares like live your life and I think that's great and we should do that but I also want to continue Miranda being like unlikable <laughs> and part of that is like what she wears I don't know anyway I'm gonna try to film a video now goodbye okay I've taught Flynn what a green screen is so we're gonna try it out right Flynn uh -huh. okay here we go all right Flynn what do you want to be in front of right now a dump truck and a semen mixer dump truck <gasps> look there's a dump truck behind you which truck do you want next semen mixer Oops. Oh, that's kind of silly. <laughs> Maybe daddy can fix that. Teacher, how? Yeah. You sure? Smile. Aww. 
Oh, mm-hmm. and she's saying hi. Well, she that was a yawn. Yeah. Good job, good job, yawning. She's so happy. Yeah, she loves you so much. Hi. Hi. Mm-hmm. She smiled. She yeah. did. Hi. Hello, cutie bug. <laughs> You wanna sing your song? <laughs> she likes Itchy Bitsy Spider. Itchy Bitsy Spider Love the water so Down in the rain Watch the spider run Out came the sun And cry up all the rain And Itchy Bitsy Spider Love the spout again The vibrato is so beautiful, boy. <laughs> Where did you learn vibrato from? No. <laughs> He's so happy because I'm here. That is true. Me too, Flynn. She smiled. <laughs> well, I've lost my camera, so I'm using my phone to end this vlog tonight. I'm downstairs getting ready for bed, so that means I'm making cookies. And I church up my cookies with m and Lately, I haven't had time to make dough from scratch, so I buy pre-packaged cookies. Ta-da! And then I squish M&M's in them. Uh, right now, I have Wesley downstairs, he's in the swing, and so far so good. And I can hear Maisie upstairs, or it's got Maisie, I have Wes. I put the other half of these cookies back in the fridge. I've already brought their bottles up for the night, so their bottles are ready for the night feeds. But I'm not ready, so what I need for the middle of the night feeds is fresh ice water. And then I fill up a cup with snacks, like Chex Mix and random sugary yumminess. Chewy bars is another fave of mine. This is my go-to. Chewy bars, chocolate chip chewy bars are like my number one go-to. When I was pregnant and now that I'm breastfeeding, it's just like an easy, delicious, sugary little treat to help me feel better in the middle of the night when I'm up late pumping and or feeding the babies. So I've got my Chex Mix and my Captain Crunch Berries in my cup and my fresh water. And I've got my little Wesley. I've got my cookies to eat while I'm importing my footage. And I am very sleepy. I still have not finished the plates that I started. I still need to get the handprints of Wesley and Maisie on those things. On New Year's Eve, if you watched that vlog, you will have seen that we painted some plates and stuff. Um, and I had this grand idea that the babies would put their handprints in feet prints on it and um, that has not happened yet. So still waiting on a moment of time to do that. But I wanna say thank you to anyone who reached out to me on Instagram because yesterday I had a clogged duct, a clogged milk duct. It was so freaking painful. I've had a few since I'm exclusively pumping. For some reason it's happening more than it did when I was pre- when I was nursing Flynn. When I nursed Flynn, it happened like once, but it's happened three or four times since I've had the twins and they, I, it is so painful. It is so painful and yesterday Day or two days ago whenever I had it, it was the worst it's ever been. And I went on Instagram and I was like, does anyone have advice? Cause I Googled it and things were just like, oh, put like warm compress or like take a hot shower, massage it. And I tried all those things and nothing was working. But then so many of you reached out to me and said to use a haka and put warm water in a haka with Epsom salts and that worked. So if anyone watching, if you ever get a clogged milk duct, that works like a charm. I took a warm bath and then I put warm water in a haka and hakas are amazing by the way if you don't know what haka is strongly recommend and it came right out and it was the milk the clog whatever it is that was clogging it came out and i had like instant relief it was magical and it's all thanks to you guys whoever there's so many people messaged me about that but most people said that eric should suck out the clogged duct i at first thought people were like being jerks and were being like have eric suck it out ha 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 but it was like legit advice like so many people i guess do that like they have their husband suck it out because the milk gets clogged in there and it's super painful and you need like a really hard intense suction to get it out so i guess a lot of women just have their husband like suck it out. I told Eric if the haka didn't work, I was gonna make him do that. And he said he would, um, but I didn't want to have to get to that point. So I'm glad we didn't, I'm glad the haka worked. Anyway, big pet peeve of mine, these binkies. I hate this kind of binky. No offense to the company that makes these. I know these are like the most popular binkies, but these are what they use the hospital. I hate them because they're heavy and they can't keep them in their mouth. Like they don't form to their face and there's nothing to like grip onto on this nipple part. So they just fall out. So whenever they wanna suck on a binky, 
pinky, which is always, you have to like kind of sit there and like hold it there for them. And I can't get them to like any other kind of pinky. And I hate those kinds of pinkies. But the hospital got them so used to them. It's the only kind they'll use and I don't like them. So any advice on that, guys? Also, any advice on um, transitioning them from bottles to breast because I'm having a really hard time with it. And I really just want them to breastfeed. Um, it would make my life a little bit easier if I didn't have to, to do pumping every two to three hours and feed two babies every two to three hours with a bottle and washing all the bottles and it's just it's so much. I just wish I could eliminate some of the bottles. So any advice? My babies don't like to breastfeed. They, they like it at first. They like it for like two minutes and they like the letdown. They like all the milk. They're like, yeah, this is awesome. And then the second they have to start kind of working for the milk and sucking harder for the milk, then they're like, I don't want this. Give me a bottle. And nothing I do, like I can't get them to stay on my boob after that. When they refuse to eat from my breast, then I like finish them off with a bottle because I don't want them to be hungry, obviously. But I don't know what to do. What do I do? <laughs> I guess I'm training them that now they know like if they don't want to eat from my breast and they will get a bottle ultimately because obviously I want my babies to eat but I don't know what the right thing to do is there and I should be asking a doctor and not the internet but you guys do give me good advice so <laughs> what do you guys think I should do help me any advice and yeah I'm gonna eat my cookies now and probably go to bed what do you think Wes are you sleepy are you wide awake <gasps> Wide awake, that's what I thought. Good night, everybody. Oh, go watch the Miranda video and subscribe, but didn't do all the things. Okay, bye. Bless you. Goodbye. <gasps>